Good morning and welcome back to Heat. So I have just been using the smelter to craft a few uh, copper bars and getting some ammo crafted for our cannon. And uh, if you remember last time round, we built uh, this lovely cannon. And um, yes, I needed a bit more ammo for it. So we've got a, a few um, cannonballs on the go. Uh, so we're making another six, I think. Um, we've already had one. So we've got a few in stock right now. And um, if we go over to our cannon, you will see across the shore over there, is a small structure. Now I haven't built that. That has been built by my lovely neighbour over in that direction with the uh, the purple flag over there. Um, B-Man. And B-Man saw my last video um, on the uh, heat where I accidentally shot his building. I um, put an arrow in his roof. Um, yeah sorry about that again. And uh, when I was talking about the cannon, I, th I did mention about um, possibly building a shack on the shore to do a bit of uh, firing practice. And um, yeah, B-Man has very kindly constructed something over there for us. So I think before we take any shots at it, we'll go over and take a, a quick look. Hopefully there are no um, sheep around. I am uh, constantly being chased by sheep over in this area, so hopefully not. Looks like there's a little deck here we can hop up onto. Hop through the window. Yeah, pretty standard log shack. Not much to it. But that should be pretty good target practice and we'll see. We'll see how much damage our uh, cannon does from that range. And then once we've done that we'll uh, take a look around the lake up to our neighbours before the wipe happens and we lose lose everything. I've been selling a few of the items in my stockpiles so I've sort of left uh, approximately 800 of each um, in stock uh, apart from iron because uh, I needed iron bars to do a bit of bit of work. Now how is this going? This is finished. Excellent so we've got another three. So we've got 11 cannonballs so let's get one of these loaded up uh, let's aim. Uh, we'll reload. We'll turn the hood off. And let's see. So we want to kind of hit this thing. I don't know what sort of height we want to hit it at. Um, should we try that for now? It's a little bit hit and miss really I think. Well we'll try that. Okay so three, two, one. Oh, a bit of a delayed reaction there. Okay, so perhaps a little bit higher and we'll reload. It's so cool. Now it does seem to be hitting, doesn't it? But um, hmm. I wonder if we should reposition this cannon. That's sort of, it's not, yeah. Okay, well, let's try a little bit higher again. Reload. It doesn't seem to be doing much damage, so. It's definitely making the sound of sort of hitting twigs and things like that. We've got eight left, we'll reload. Let's aim it down a little bit. I wonder if more of a direct... Let's see, that might go into the water. Yeah, that kind of went off to one side. Um, we were definitely better off with that kind of a target, I think. We'll try one more and we'll go over and have a look. Wow. Okay, let's release that just for the moment. Actually, do we want to take the cannon with us? Let's pick the cannon up. 
Maybe we'll deploy it over there. I'll just carry a cannon in my pocket, it'll be fine. It doesn't look like there's any damage. And this isn't on any protected land. It's hard to it's hard to tell to be honest. It really is. Let's jump jump up on here. I mean it, it looks it looks fine. I wonder if the owner can see how much damage has been done. Right, okay, I think what I'm going to do, and this could be a bit risky because we're fairly close to the to the uh, cabin here. How about we pop it down here on the shore? Uh, should we clear a bit of land, maybe? I think so. Doesn't take long. These are fairly, fairly small trees. Yeah, maybe pop it down, down there somewhere. There's a mushroom on the floor there. Uh, and maybe we'll get the um, this out as well, our scythe. Clear a bit of the brush so we can see. And I'm a bit worried about this. I'm not sure whether this is going to be too close to this structure. But we're, uh, we've got to do it for science. We might blow ourselves up here in the uh, process. Make sure we've got a really nice clear view. Hopefully we don't get any sheep. Uh, I'm not going to do that one. Yep, that one. And then perhaps just one or two more. Um, okay, I think, you know, this should be far enough away. Maybe this, this tree here to... Not, that's not going to go. Okay, let's try and deploy this, the, the cannon here. Do you think this is going to be far enough away? <gasps> I'm not sure. I feel like I should be a little bit further. I think I think, feel like I should be about here. Um, yeah, okay. Let's get rid of a few of the little bits and pieces around here. Did you see the, the uh, spider web there? That was pretty cool. Oh, and the one over there. For some reason, right the way over there was one of those um, geodes. Okay, that's cool. I don't want to over encumber myself, but it'd be good to get rid of these for you. Little bits and pieces next to me. We could always just drop all this on the floor. I can see one more tree I want to take out. Come on. There we go. I think this this tree here is in the way as well. Maybe these couple. Wow. Right, okay. So, a bit of lag there. Um, okay, let's uh, let's try this. I, I, I'm so worried about this being too close. Um, right, okay. Right. What do we think about there? Oh, perhaps aim up a little bit more. Right, okay, fingers crossed. <laughs> Oh nice! That kind of hit the roof. Um, okay, I think we can afford to aim a bit more flat then for that. I'm just grateful that it didn't uh, blow us up. 
Okay. How many more of these things do we have? Uh, four. Um, let's go a little bit more there. I don't want to blow my own place up, of course. Yeah, it's not really doing a lot of damage, is it? In fact, I can't see any sign of any damage. So I'm not really sure what's happening there. That was about that was direct hits at a much closer range than across the water. Yep, and no, absolutely no sign of any damage. So, um, as much fun as the uh, cannon is, I think it's probably best to use it to take on um, bandits. So, yeah, okay. How much ammo do we have? We've got three. This should be... This should be empty. So let's pick it up. And I think what we might do, so it's definitely ineffective against a, um, a, a shack. We'll drop off all of this wood that I'm carrying. We'll keep the cannon with us and the ammo. And we'll go and have a little scout round um, our neighbours, have a look at their properties. I'm not going to, definitely not going to touch their properties, but we'll just have a little look around while the, uh, the light is good. But that was, um, that was for science. You never know how these things are going to go. Let's deposit all that wood in there. That's excellent. Okay. And I don't think we've got enough left to craft anything more. Oh yeah, we can. Uh, we just need a little bit more lead. Um, okay. Let's grab some lead. We'll get another cannonball going. So we'll just grab a hundred. I don't think we need that much, but... just do one. It's the copper ingots that are the, uh, they're the expensive part. Let's drop this lead back off. What else have we got? We've got a bit of iron and some sand and yeah. Oh my resources, my poor resources. And I think what we'll do is we'll grab the pistol and our ammo. And if we run into any um, unsavoury types at least we've got a little bit of a little bit of a way of defending ourselves. So we've got the sand off. Um, yeah, I need this. I want to make some uh, hunter's chew. Uh, but we could sell us a couple of these things. So we'll grab our pistol and our ammo. We haven't got much. Twenty-five. So better than nothing. I don't know how much it is to craft some ammo actually. Let's have a quick look. Do we do it in here? Probably in the armoury. Mm, okay. Um, let's just put everything away in here for now. And then we can always sell stuff later. We've got quite a few sticks there. Um, oh, we've got money. Money, money. Lovely. Pop some sticks away in there. We'll deposit this in our uh, lockbox. So I've been selling all my um, my stockpile of items outside, so that's where all that's come from. Um, we're not hungry. Let's equip the pistol. Um, got a little bit of water on us. Okay. Let's um, head back this way. And I think what we might do. We drop that there, number eight, and um, we'll empty that out, and then we'll collect some more water, and then we're good. Number eight, lovely. So let's go and have a little wander around the neighbourhood. Um, I think we'll go this way around for a change, and we'll go and quickly just have a, a look at our neighbours. So uh, don't mind me, I'm just carrying a cannon. Oh, I forgot to get the extra cannonballs, but we'll, we'll be okay, I think. Uh, 
Okay, I'm just looking for iron while I'm running. I've got no iron left. There's a lovely um, few copper copper nodes around here, which I think make for a very attractive area. So who is this? This is Geordie UK. So uh, another neutral guild. Um, Charger, the horse. Hello, Charger. Lovely green flag with a unicorn on. Nice. Um, and then we've got this nice flagstone floor. I really need to get into um, using the rake for some flooring. Definitely. Wish it was raining then for a second. So we've got a nice um, upper deck and a, a lower porch and um, stone. Oh, and there is Geordie asleep inside. <laughs> That's so cool that you can see people doing that. Uh, uh, yes, a stone uh, lower foundation and then a timber upper floor. Nice, very nice. Okay, let's carry on around the uh, the lake a little bit. So I'm going to run along the shore just to make sure that we don't run into any animals, I think. Keep an eye out, see if we come across any iron, although I probably can't carry too much right now. So there's our place across the water. Looks pretty cool. Uh, and this is... Um, I'm trying to remember the name. I have visited these places in passing before. Here we go, skulls, okay, so this is skulls. And skulls has a gunslinger tent, um, and that, you deploy one of those on your property, and if there's any damage um, received to your property, the gunslingers will actually come out of that tent and come and attack you, so it's, a, it's pretty cool that you can have that sort of guard place nearby. So we can see in the windows. Oh, and there is Skulls asleep. Is that Skulls' horse as well? I think there's a horse in there. Yes, there is a horse in there. So Skulls and his uh, mount. Having a little kit. Quite a nice build. Two stories. Nice deck on there. With a little overhang roof. That's quite cool. And again, a path. I need to. Um, I need to do something with paths in the next build. Definitely, nice deck around the back. And what's this? This is a crafting area, is it? Oh, little cooking area and very nice. Okay, so we've got a bit of a jetty. Oops, bit of lag there. Yeah, we've got a jetty coming out into the lake. And this over here is B-Man, and B-Man is the, um, my neighbour who very kindly built that shack. But unfortunately it doesn't seem to take any damage, so, uh, but it, it was good to experiment, it definitely was. Oh, right, B-Man has uh, lots of stockpiles. Oh, and a nice garden by the look of it, but let's have a quick look at uh, Silver. Oh, very cool. I need to get a horse. Or a donkey or something next time round. Let's have a look. Oh, we've got a nice garden here. What's this? A crafting area, a couple of smelters. <gasps> Tomatoes. Very nice. Oh, I like it when it's all planted on mass like that. That looks much more effective than my ramshackle. Ephus back home. So it looks like maybe some... What are they? Carrots? Yep, carrots. Some beans. Um, cotton and corn. And then this... Mm, these might be strawberries or more beans. Maybe more beans. Seeds and water. That's cool. Again, nice path. Oh, I like this around the bonfire. Got some stools, a bench. That's very close, should be nice and toasty next to there. Um, okay, so we've got a lovely big overhang 
all the way around the side of the property. A little bit of um, the foundations exposed down here. Oh, this is nice. Nice walkway all the way down to the water's edge. Yeah, it does make you run a lot faster. It is very effective. That's cool. Very nice property. And that's a nice angular deck as well. That's almost like some sort of... Um, I don't know, that angle made me think of... Um, I don't know why, Star Wars for some reason, but anyway. And a, a huge flagpole, that's what we can see from our house. It's um, yeah, big W. And there's our property down there. Very cool. I think there is somebody a little bit further around the water. Let's just have a quick look at the map. So we are here, so we've visited these three, and there's us. And then there's somebody here too. Should we just... We're not far. Should we just go and have a, a very quick look? Oh, and there is somebody over there as well. Um, can we look at the map while we're in the water? We can. Yeah, come up. Well, that seems to have stopped you uh, sprinting a little bit. Yep, yeah, right round the uh, the bend here. And that, is that another property over there? Or is that a copper node? Can you see what I'm looking at there? Oh, R Milling. Mm. Milan Juniors Guild. Millian? Millian? Mm, okay, not really sure how to pronounce that. But it is um, neutral, so hopefully we won't get into uh, any trouble for coming by for a quick visit. So we've got some stockpiles, a bit of a deck, a uh, smithy and a kiln. What's this? Uh, feels like a trap. <laughs> That's pretty cool though, whatever it is. And then we've got an open window. Uh, and there is the person themselves just asleep in the in the window there. So this is very much a work in progress, isn't it? Not quite finished yet. probably jump in there if I uh, so wished. Oh gosh, and there's another house over there as well. Right, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that over there must be a copper node. Let's go uh, with an arrow and see. Yep, that's a copper node. Okay. Well, with this, we've come this far. Let's take a, a quick swim across the water and see what this property looks like. We are hungry. So this is nestled in a really nice spot, right in the um, the edge of the the bend, right in the middle of the bend. I have been past here before. I have run around the whole circumference of the lake and um, there was a sheep spawn over here. And I am very wary of these sheep, I have to say. I'm going to need to eat something. Let's grab a um, strawberry tart. Okay, I'll put the knife back on the belt. But I am unarmed. I'm just coming by for a visit, just being nosy. This is quite a decent sized build as well. Oh, there is a flag. Good, so we should be able to see who this is. So there's no real ex entrance from that side. Wow. Wow, this is cool. Oh, okay, bit of lag. That's fine. It's scary when it happens, to be honest. It's 
So, yeah, some big stockpiles. Oh, wow, look where they built this person. I thought I saw a flag. Oh, it's open. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna rifle through your stuff. There's a bit of a stairway. Uh, a workbench. Repair bench. Looks like maybe they started um, and decided to relocate elsewhere, perhaps. That's interesting. Okay. Let's decide that this looks like a, an iron node. Oh my gosh, what the hell's that? That's a donkey! Where's the donkey flashing red? Um, is it because he's dying? He might have been dying. Yeah, there's an iron node here. I'd like to get this. Um, what's my carry capacity like? I could get some of it and when we start running out of uh, breath. I've just got to be aware of that donkey might come after me, so... Let's grab a little bit of iron. Shouldn't have bought the cannon. I'm going to get encumbered. I've got four iron bars on me too. Why the hell did I bring those with me? Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, let's let's just leave the rest of that now. We're going to have to pant on the uh, all the way home now. Where's that donkey gone? Hmm, okay. So we'll just have a quick look at this last building on the lake. At least we were able to sprint still so it's not too bad. Uh oh! Oh no! Did you hear that? Oh my god what the hell's that? That's a wolf! Oh no! I've not seen a wolf around here before. I wonder if that wolf was after the donkey. I wonder if that's possible. Um, yeah, that was not a good sound to hear in the left hand uh, headphone. Oh, this is quite a substantial place, but it is still all twigs by the look of it. Yeah, we're getting a bit of um, bit of lag around here. And is this place open? Let's see. Well, we can definitely hop in here for now. Just for a bit of safety. Whew. Okay, what we've got up here? Okay, nice. A little bit of an outside deck. And that's expired by the look of it. Yeah, that's that's been abandoned because there's no red fill to the bar. So this is an abandoned place. No real decay on it though, unless this was more substantial and it's fallen down to twig, le uh, twig level. So I wonder if that donkey was being attacked by that wolf. Wow, okay. Now where is our build from here? Let's have a quick look on the map. Yes, we've just got to go across to the shore and then yeah okay um we may as well may as well swim for it i think i don't think we die hopefully the animals can't out swim us oh my gosh that would be not good wow i've never seen a wolf before seen a donkey. Donkeys killed me twice. That was quite funny. Right, okay. So I think I think this is right. I think I just need to go along here. Let's just have a quick look on the map. 
have to stop to do that. Oh! That was interesting. What have I done? Have I set some waypoints or are there people nearby? Let's just jump up onto shore. I might have set a waypoint or something accidentally. Yep, that's me. Okay, so I just need to head that way to head back home. Okay, and we'll go and deploy our cannon. I think I'm going to put it up on the um, on the upper deck this time. Just because I think it'll look cool up there. But what a shame that the um, damage is just negligible. Um, I just can't tell whether it's doing any damage. I was hoping for things to be flying off and disintegrating as we hit, but it made nice sounds as if it was doing that, but definitely no visual clue that I've damaged it in any way. Um, yeah. Range-wise, just across the water like that is perfect. It's just, it's uh Yeah. Actually, I think I am going to deploy the cannon back down on this level. Uh, let's just deposit this iron. That should help with the, uh, with the running around a little bit. That's better. Okay, good. And I think I've got some iron cannonballs in here too. Well, one. So we've got four left. Uh, let's finish the episode and probably this playthrough because I, I doubt that I'll be um, I'll be back unfortunately because it's going to get wiped any any uh, day now really shall we put it there the only trouble is no I feel like that was probably the wrong place the only trouble is these things in the way unless we can move this over a little bit I think we can. I think we can pick it up, which I always think is just hilarious. So um, I think what I might do is this time round. Why? Why is that done that? That's weird. Okay, number seven. That was weird, wasn't it? Okay. Let's put this a little bit more over towards the edge like that there we go that shouldn't be in the way now nice and my land claim flag is a little bit in the way there we could remove the money hopefully this won't interfere right okay so let's try for another couple of shots so we probably want to aim I don't know something like that maybe like that take the hood off and can we zoom around a little bit just to get a bit of a better view there's the cannonball okay so that wasn't good let's try that um, we'll reload and again let's try and get a better better angle maybe can we get out of this building okay so that was definitely more over on that side but look where I'm aiming and look where it hits mm, that was more central so one I think we've got one left yep that's our last cannonball and No, nope, that was a miss. Oh well. Okay, that's pretty cool though. And uh, again, I don't think there's any sign of any damage. We definitely hit it a couple of times. 
But thank you so much, B Man, for uh, making this little shack. But it seems to be impervious to uh, cannon fire, as far as I can see. Whether when you log back on, you'll be able to see a little bit more damage. It's definitely not showing me too much, so. Very cool, though. So I think that's going to be it for this uh, episode. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.